So today I have a Primark haul for you, obviously. I haven't bought anything really in Primark in quite a while and it was only going in, I've been in a couple of times over the last couple of weeks where I think they've been getting in their spring summer stuff and there've been a couple of things that have caught my eye and I've ended up with two bags full of stuff to show you. So that's what I'm gonna do, obviously, today. This was meant to go up today. I'm filming this on Easter Sunday, but the day has just completely run away with me. I was up this morning at eight o'clock with our nephew, he stayed over last night, and we were making cornflake cakes. I've had a lovely day, but we, we went out for lunch to celebrate Mother's Day because my mum was away when it was Mother's Day. And that honestly, we've done rounds. We've gone around all the grandparents' houses. Um, Tom had gone for a run and when he got back, that was when I was meant to be filming, but you'd have heard the shower in the background because I wanted to film in here because it's just easier. Um, so it's just gone a little bit crazy. So hopefully it's okay because this is gonna go up on Bank Holiday Monday, which is technically a second Sunday, um, and that it's okay. So I'm just gonna get straight into this. We've ordered a Domino's and I wanna get this filmed before that arrives. So I'm just gonna go in no particular order and pull stuff out of the bag and talk you through what I bought. So first things first, these were six pounds and I lived in mine last year, but I think I got a pair from Next, which was about, they were about 20 pounds. And they are a black kind of rip off pair of Birkenstocks. So they are black, they've got a little bit of an effect to the actual material and then it's kind of like a coppery gold buckle. I really like the ones that have the two. I think the ones that just have the one strip going across make my feet look a little bit strange. I really, really like these shoes. They, I just feel like they're so versatile. You can wear them with jeans. You can kind of make a more summery outfit, like a dress, look a little bit more edgy. Um, and for six pounds, I just obviously was going to buy them. So I got those. I also bought a couple of pairs of sunglasses. They were a pound each and I got a pair in kind of like pink rose gold and also in gray and silver. And I'm gonna be one of those weirdos that puts them on for you because when I watch these videos, I really like to see what they look like on the person. So you probably get a great reflection from my ring light, but then you get to see what they look like on, what they look like on. And for a pound, um, I just thought that then if they get scratched in the bottom of my bag, I don't really mind it. Um, do I look like a human fly? If you've seen my last video where Tom and me Tom and I look through all pictures of ourselves, you'll know what I mean by that because that was a bit of a joke in that video. Um, and then these have to be my favorite, I think. These ones are a bit kind of like old me, um, but at least with the different colors, they'll match, they'll go with different outfits. So for a pound, I don't expect them to do anything amazing and really, you know, guard my eyes from the sun. But just if I want a pair of sunglasses for out in the garden or, just quickly to grab, and I'm not bothered about them getting scratched, a pound, you can't really go wrong. As some of you might remember, I did a Primark haul around the winter time and bought a pair of pajamas that were, were blue with gray stars on and they were my favorite throughout winter. Um, they also had different colorways, but they'd sold out at every single size when I was in there buying the blue ones and I've looked out for them ever since. And my sister convinced me to buy two of the different colorways. So now I have three pairs of these pajamas, but they are so soft and warm. They're quite thin, so they're not like, I could I can wear these to bed and not get overly hot. But obviously in the summer, I'm not gonna get much wear out of these, but they're definitely gonna be kept for the winter. So these were 12 pounds, you get the top and the bottoms. They're long sleeved, and these are obviously this gorgeous kind of like deep berry purple with light pink stars on. The bottoms are the same, and then my favorite kind of bottoms where they're cropped at the bottom around the cuff. I only really wear cuffed pajama bottoms but they are so nice and they're really flattering as well. They're not like really, really tight. So I actually wore these on Christmas morning and usually feel really self-conscious on Christmas morning, but in these I didn't. I also picked up a pair of their 90p flip-flops because in the summer I don't really wear slippers. I wear these around the house and they didn't, to be honest, have that many styles I really liked, but obviously you don't really see them when your feet are in them and I'm only wearing them around the house. So I got the blue stripy ones because I just thought these were the most non-offensive. They had some really quite wacky ones in there but um, I'm a bit of a plain Jane when it comes to things like this. I mean, they're a pair of flip flops. I can't really say much more about that, can I? So I have a video coming up, which is a drugstore beauty haul. And then I'm gonna do a first impressions, mixing together my drugstore haul and my high-end haul so that you kind of get to see a full face of high-end and drugstore products rather than it just being one or the other. Um, and plus, I don't really have a full face of both, so I can mix them together and it's easier for me. And I saw these in Primark. I haven't really used any of their makeup apart from their, like, kind of lip, uh, what are they called? The lipsticks, they're kind of like the NARS Velvet Matte 
crayons um, and I like those. I haven't really used anything else but I saw these in the nudes section and these were £2 for two and they're just two sponges so you get one that's got an angle and one that's quite round like a beauty blender. Um, if I hold them closer up you might be able to see better, it's really overexposed, but you'll see them in that video because I'm going to try and use one of them um, in that video, but I thought £2 for two sponges, even if they're rubbish and I don't use them again, or I give them to one of my little cousins, um, it's it's £2, so I thought they were worth a go because they could be the next best thing, um, so we'll see. One of my favourite things in this whole haul video is going to be this dress, this was £10, um, and I've worn this already, I'll pop a picture on the screen, I'm not going to try this stuff on today because I've literally got like a few items of clothing, um, but you'll probably see stuff on my Instagram anyway, but this is the dress in question, so it's a midi dress, it's got this gorgeous v-neck here at the top, and then it's this really really nice, uh, it reminds me of Spice lipstick from MAC with black and white stripe going through so at the moment I'm wearing this with a black roll neck because it's really cold outside and it's although it's a midi it's got slits up the side which you will see on the picture but I'll just show you here uh, rather haphazardly I'm sorry I know a lot of you hate whole videos like this when people don't try the stuff on but um it's a one-off let, let let me off um but because it's got the splits in it can get a little bit chilly but you could also obviously pick out the white in this and wear it with like a long sleeve white t-shirt or a short sleeve white t-shirt when it gets a bit warmer it ties around the waist which is really really flattering just with the same kind of material and I wasn't sure about this because I think it's quite a line it just kind of goes straight down uh, but it actually sits really really nicely on so this is my favourite purchase in a while to be honest um, and it was only £10. I bought a couple of packs of earrings and the first pair were £1.50 and they're really really fun. I don't know whether I'll even ever wear them but they are these kind of dangly pom-pom earrings with a baby pink pom-pom on so they're kind of out there for me. I've got a couple of pairs like this already and I've never worn them but I couldn't resist. They were £1.50 and I also got this pack of like a multi-pack of earrings. You get nine pairs for £2. I'm hoping they show up um, but it's just one of their multi-pack of earrings. The other pyjama set that I bought are in a baby pink with white polka dots on. My sister got the same. They are really, really soft. Honestly, if you see these in your Primark, just go and feel them, even if you don't buy them. Um, they're well worth £12 for, for the top and the bottoms, um, and they're so comfy. So I got them in this colour as well. I wasn't going to get these because I just thought it was a bit excessive, but uh, Lottie, my sister, was just like, they're your favourite pair of pyjamas, just buy them while they're here, so doesn't take a lot really to convince me. A couple of boring but essential products um, or items. I got this pack of seven shoe liners for £1.80, just the black ones, and I also bought some of the hairbands for a pound. Uh, I go, I don't know where these go, I don't know where these go. Where do you go? Do you pair off, marry each other and bugger off? I, I don't know, but I, I lose them all the time so I needed to stock up on those so this was five pounds and it's in this gorgeous kind of like grey glass jar this is number 31 pearl grey and the scent is pomegranate and fig and then it's got this gorgeous kind of like copper clasp on it to open it and it says it burns up to for uh, 68 60 hours now whether it does or not but even if I just get a few hours out of it I think it'll look nice on the fireplace and um, it's a grey candle inside and it it just smells really nice I'm not a scent connoisseur, I'm rubbish at it, but it really does smell nice. For £7 I picked up a shirt and I went off wearing shirts for so long because when I was a little bit bigger I used to wear shirts all the time and I don't know, I just haven't, I haven't worn them in so long but I just thought it would be really nice when it gets a bit warmer just to throw this on with a pair of jeans and a pair of Converse and that's it if I'm just going to like Tesco and I don't really want to put an outfit together and it was £7 so it's this white shirt and then it's got almost like a I don't know what kind of green you'd call this like an olivey dull green I'm completely washing the colour out of this but it's literally just a plain cotton shirt um, got a lot of room, very very soft and just thought it would be really good just to throw on. This pair of shoes which I really really love, these were £10 and it was hard to find a pair that weren't destroyed I have to say, they look like they've just been like rammed in a box, rammed out of the box, stuffed on the shelves so really have a look at these when you're in there to see to get a good pair. So these are obviously just a pair of sandals but I love the bright colours in these. I don't expect them to last very long um, if they've got a little bit of coral in, this gorgeous green and then the beading around the 
uh, around the rest of it, I suppose. Um, I really like these. They were only £10 and I just, you can, you see things like this in like River Island and stuff and they're so expensive. So even if they only last me a few wears, um, I just thought they were quite quirky and fun. And again, if I wear just like a black dress or something with not a lot of colour in, this, you could really pull that out of the outfit, whatever colour you're wearing, if you're wearing like a little bit of green or whatever, and it would just add something a little bit extra because these are quite extra really, aren't they? I also got a pair of slippers. Now, my pair of slippers that they have in there, they've stopped stocking or they only had like a beige pair. And so I didn't get them. I saw these and I couldn't resist. And it is Easter and it's still really cold. They were four pounds and they're bunnies. <laughs> I don't really have much more to say apart from it's really washing them out so I'm hoping that it's picking them up but they've got little ears and a little heart nose and they're just adorable. I don't expect them again to last very long but they don't have my current slippers in so even if they only last me until the warmer months which hopefully are just around the corner then these will do the job quite nicely. I think I'd seen this last piece on Mrs Meldrum's channel and I went hunting for it. This was £13 and they only had 10s and 8s left so I'm hoping that it's got enough give, it's not fitted and that it's got enough stretch in it that it will be okay. Um, but basically it's an off the shoulder bardo dress and it's got that kind of shared material where it's stretchy at the top and it's this gorgeous floral print, long sleeves which is just a blessing because even since losing weight I still have this thing about my arms that tie a little bit. It's a midi dress and it just falls really beautifully um, all the way down. So hopefully you can get kind of like the gist of what this one looks like without me trying it on. I love the print. I love that it's not like a bright floral, that it's a really subtle, because I'm not really too into my floral prints. You wouldn't believe it with the dress I'm wearing. But this is from ASOS, by the way. I'll link it down below. It's quite new. Um, it's just a really gorgeous material and I'm hoping that it's going to hang really nicely. This is definitely one that if it looks nice you will see on my Instagram. Um, but as I say I just love how the colours of the green and the, and the, it's kind of like a very very light pink. They're just very very soft and not too out there and this again has little slits down the side. And that is everything I picked up. So a few clothing bits there. Um, I'm still not 100% about that shirt. I don't know. I'm going to have to try it on. Um, but the two dresses that I got I think were just worth going in for anyway um, and the shoes and the little bits of accessories so hopefully you enjoyed that. I will see you all on Wednesday with my next video which is good. I don't know whether to put the beauty haul up because it's two hauls together or whether to do an empties or a favourites so let me know in the comments what you'd rather see and I will see you then. Thank you all for watching and I hope at least half of you had chocolate for breakfast today.